Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Focus. My name is Rafenta Mulehe, and you can find me on Instagram as Fancy Face. You can find me on LinkedIn as just Rafenta Mulehe. So we have been doing a three-part series on <laughs> me celebrating one year in my current role. And today is part three, which is the last part. And to summarize everything, I do think there's a lot that I can share. Um, just a little bit of context, what the weekly focus is about. The weekly focus is just the time we take to reflect on the week that has passed or months or years. I don't know. And we try to see what can we learn from the past that we can do better and start implementing into our future. And in this case, into the week that is coming. So I've shared a lot about just being having gratitude of how, how far you can how far you have come that was in part one and part two it was just allowing yourself to learn part three is about excellent 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 <laughs> i cannot emphasize it enough i think when you come into a new role you always want to be your best especially the first three months because maybe it's that probation period so you are going above and beyond once the dust has set once the dust has settled and now you become part of the furniture we still have to aim for excellence. And I think it can, it can get hard because you get comfortable in one instance and sometimes it maybe just gets too hard and then you just settle with whichever standard that you're providing. So I'm just going to share a little bit on my experience. I do think that I love feedback, but I like um, feedback that is said from a sound space. So not when things are heated and things are falling apart, now all of a sudden I get my feedback. But as I'm progressing, I would love, I love um, just continuously getting feedback from my leadership on how I'm doing, areas that I need to improve on. But I guess in that instance, this is where you would be using the performance review to give you that feedback. So I have gone so far through only one performance review and I'm going to go through another one or I've just completed one and most probably there will be an evaluation from my manager's side. And yeah, <laughs> I think I do take responsibility for not asking for sufficient feedback. I think sometimes we think feedback must just come, but feedback should be also initiated. And um, that's a lesson that I've learned as well. And then also just judge it on the kind of work that you produce. I think if you just want to be better, you take whatever you're giving and said, how can I do it better? How can the process be more efficient? How can I deliver more on time if I'm missing deadlines and so forth? Another thing that I want to talk about is deadlines. Deadlines, you know, especially when you're new, you don't necessarily get things done at the rate that maybe somebody else does it or at the rate that it's expected, but communicate, like communicate, communicate, communicate. And yes, it's important that when a deadline is set, you push yourself to meet the deadline. But at some point, you kind of do start seeing um, how much you're capable to, of doing and the challenges that you're facing. So always aim to meet your deadline. If you're going to miss it, communicate and explain what the shortfall is. The next one under excellence is time management. And I guess it speaks to meeting deadlines. I think that's the one area that I've still, I'm still battling with. Um, I do think that we, I, we, everyone in this space pushes themselves a lot. Then it comes a point where you actually crashing. So even when now you are faced with the deadline, you don't have enough energy in you or you're exhausted and so forth. So fatigue management is so important. And this is something I'm going into this next chapter of this role with um, just being able to manage my work better in terms of time and scheduling and prioritizing and also in prioritizing um, or better management of my fatigue. And all in all, I'd say that the closing point about excellence is just have fun. Um, you will never be here again. You will never be in your first year or completing your first year in this role again. So do enjoy it. Interact with people. Um, yes, work is important. Work is serious. But I think the one area that I missed a lot in the beginning few months of my work, and it's a sacrifice I had to make, is that my balance wasn't that good. In a sense that, you know, the things that were important to me, 
that I missed because of work. I know I missed my birthday, if I can put it like that, um, in 2023, because it was just, it required, I think on that day, I can't remember, we were having issues with the mess pool, something like that. So I stayed on the plant for long. And, you know, it's a birthday that I'll never get back. Um, this year, I do think I was in a better position. My manager even said, I can knock off early. <laughs> and I, I said that I got out to 12. I was packing my things. Five first half, I was, I was inside my car driving home to Pretoria. So you won't, there's certain things you won't experience again. So if it's not a matter of life and death, I think take the time of um, have a knock off knock off and go to the gym, knock off and go spend time with your people at church or in your personal life, go enjoy your home style um, and be fully present. I, I do think that also build that trust relationship with your colleagues that whoever is at the plant right now, trust you to get the job done. And um, I think also once you decentralize everything from you and then you make your team more accountable for making decisions um it does create that space for you to be able to have a little bit more fun so um to anyone who's in a new role i wish you all the best i pray that you will enjoy it that you will learn and also that will not be your end that you will aim for the next bigger role i already know <laughs> what is my next ideal position that i'd love to have um i think i hypothetically speaking i want to say in the next five years but if it can come sooner than later let's go <laughs> let's go so i do think that um i will make a video just for the things i've learned after my birthday and i think it will be a follow-up just speaking about my dreams and goals and the things i've achieved this year i don't know how i'll do it but i will share that as well but the focus for this week is excellent 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 <laughs> and thank you so much for being part of this three-part series of me celebrating my new role or celebrating one year in this new role i'm grateful to god for being here i'm appreciative of all the lessons learned and i want to continue working in excellence i won't always show excellence but i'll always find my way back to striving for excellence and executing in excellence from me to you Atitle, atitle. <laughs>